not happen here, and it cannot happen here again. The suits claim a fired officer gave two male inmates keys to the female pods in exchange for money. Now Democratic leaders are accusing the jail of mismanagement. Isaiah Kim Martinez shares the latest call for action and the sheriff's response. The Clark County Democratic Party lists three actions they'd like to see bear results in their words to ensure justice for the alleged victims. In the meantime, though, an attorney representing the county says video evidence paints a different picture. More than two dozen women stood at the steps of the Clark County Courthouse, each holding a number, gathering in solidarity with those who claim they were sexually assaulted on the jail's watch. I work with the women who come out of that jail because I also work with homeless people. People like Barbara Anderson, who don't personally know the alleged victims, voicing her frustration. And I know how fragile they are, and this has only added to the trauma that they now have to undo. Indiana 9th District Democratic leaders hosted a news conference Monday calling for Sheriff Jamie Knoll and other jail leadership to step down. They also called for an independent investigation into the facility and announced they filed their own civil rights complaint against the sheriff's office. It shouldn't be possible for this to happen, not only to happen, but to happen over a period of hours and there's no intervention. Meanwhile, attorney Larry Wilder representing the sheriff's office in this case pointed to a hard drive. He says proves a different story. He tells us it contains surveillance video and more than 40 internal interviews, including with inmates themselves. There's nothing that I've seen that makes me believe any assaults occurred. And I've listened to 44 statements. Sheriff Knoll confirms they're investigating alongside the FBI and the U.S. Marshals and says the lawsuit and recent comments are false. In a statement, he says, quote, in the coming days, we'll bust those myths and show the community the truth and the evidence showing what happened during the 50 minute incident on October 24th, 2021. He goes on to say, quote, there's not a single woman who maintains to investigators that she was sexually assaulted by male inmates on that date. Knoll also claims audio and video evidence that'll come out soon also don't show any kind of assault. As of today, Indiana State Police tell us they haven't received any requests from county officials or prosecutors to investigate this case. Also at this time, no rape or assault charges have been filed. In Jeffersonville, Isaiah Kim Martinez, WHAS 11 on your side.